Hello and welcome to the presentation of the SEW Eurodrive cone shaft encoders. In this video, we will first present the advantages of the SEW Eurodrive cone shaft encoder and then demonstrate the disassembly and assembly. The SEW Eurodrive encoder portfolio has been substantially standardized and optimized. While add on encoders were previously dependent on the design of the asynchronous motor, the new cone encoder family can be combined with asynchronous motors of all sizes. The encoders are available with a wide variety of electrical interfaces. The cone shaft encoder reduces the variance, which simplifies selection and maintenance and also complies with functional safety and explosion protection. The new encoder design improved its mechanical mounting and made the electrical connection simpler because there is no need to remove the motor cover anymore. SEW Eurodrive also offers a M23 connector option which makes assembly and field connection even simpler and quicker. The new mating connector has new terminals is fully compatible with the previous generation and existing cables can continue to be used. In addition to the encoders, connection cables are available as usual from SEW Eurodrive. This means that you can use our new cone shaft encoders together with the optimally integrated built-in encoders for any application of your asynchronous motor from SEW Eurodrive. In the following, we would like to explain what must be considered when disassembling and assembling the cone shaft encoders. To work on the SEW Eurodrive cone shaft encoder, we will need the following tools. Torx screwdrivers, sizes T20 and T25. Screwdrivers for cross recessed head screws, size 2. For large slotted screws and an outer hexagon socket, size 8. For the assembly, a torque wrench with the appropriate bits is required. The corresponding tightening torques are listed in the operating instructions. To loosen the connection cover of the integrated encoder connector, we remove the two screws. Then we loosen the two screws inside the encoder connector until it is loose. To be able to remove the encoder cover, the four screws on the sides must be removed. Please note the delivery state of the motor, as this will become relevant later. With a slight tuck, the cover can be removed and the encoder connector can be pulled off. We can now see the cone shaft encoder. Now we have to loosen the screw plug of the cone shaft encoder as well as the retaining screws of the encoder on the fan cover. Then we have to remove the four screws on the sides. The fan cover can then be pulled off. Please be careful of the encoder connector. To loosen the encoder, one hand must hold the fan blade as well as the encoder while the other loosens the screw in the middle of the encoder. It is important to know that after overcoming the torque, the screw can be loosened easier at first but becomes more difficult later on until the encoder can finally be removed. Please do not use the inner hexagon socket as this would open the encoder. Instead of loosening it, only use the torque socket. The disassembly of the cone shaft encoder is now complete. To reassemble the cone shaft encoder, it must be inserted centrally in the fan and the fastening screw has to be tightened to the appropriate torque. While doing so, the fan must be held in position to ensure a tight fit of the encoder. The required tightening torques 
can be found in the corresponding operating instructions. The fan cover is then slipped over the encoder and mounted on the motor with four side screws. The encoder is then fastened to the fan cover with the two screws on the side and the encoder screw is closed with the screw plug. To mount the encoder cover, the integrated encoder connector must first be inserted into the side of the encoder cover. Our special feature here is that the encoder cover and the integrated encoder connector can each be mounted in four positions. This results in a total of up to 16 mounting options, which prevent mechanical collisions and allow you to find the optimal mounting position. Please note, the encoder hood may be turned a maximum of 180 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise from the delivery state to avoid cable damage. The cover can then be fastened in the desired position with the four screws on the side. Reminder, please pay attention to the correct tightening torque. Now the two screws inside the integrated encoder connector can be removed to mount it in the desired position. The encoder connector can be fixed in four positions, just like the encoder cover. Please keep in mind, the integrated encoder connector may be turned a maximum of 180 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise from the delivery state to avoid cable damage. Finally, the connection cover of the integrated encoder connector is fastened with the two screws on the side and tightened with the appropriate torque. Thus, the coneshaft encoder is mounted and your motor is ready for use. In this video, the advantages of SEW Eurodrive coneshaft encoders were presented and then disassembly and assembly were demonstrated. We wish you much success and say goodbye until next time. Coneshaft encoders from SEW Eurodrive, the encoder family for all asynchronous motors. SEW Eurodrive, driving the world.